Wuthering Waves, I was begin to worry about quite a lot. I was. Okay, but every single patch that has been uploaded and updated, it gets better and better and better and better. Now, I will say this. I will say this. Right now, the weakest thing that Wuthering Ways has going for it is the character design. Because that's what Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Railroads are really playing for. Character design is very important. The combat looks incredible, and we've already seen the end game updates before the games even come out. If you're looking for a game that you can actually play, it looks like Wuthering Waves is going to be for you. The story's weak. Who cares? Tons of people skip that shit regardless, okay? If you're a story player, go for it. Play a different game. This will not be for you, most likely. But there has been some characters that look promising lately. The red-haired chick with the whip looks really good. And there was a dude, not sure if he's going to be in this video. But the combat looks incredible. I have not seen the gacha animations. I have not seen all the characters. But I'm excited. So, let's see what's going on. I This will become one of my main games when it comes out. If it stands on its own two feet, great. But I really need this game to deliver because it seems like this game is going to be what Genshin Impact players have wanted for years. Now, I'm not going to say it's the Genshin killer, okay? There is no way you kill a game where all you do is collect mint and berries, okay? The brain rotted people are going to play that game forever. Nothing is going to stop them because they got addicted to it from COVID. But this might be a very good alternative that you can play if you want faster paced combat, which is what I want. Looks good. No sound effects. That sucks. It's the CB. Sure, there's going to be a noise. Who is that? Okay, so first of all, her face looks good. The rest of her body looks okay. Okay, the gold necklace looks really good. Should have made the tits bigger. That's just my opinion. Animation looks okay. Most likely a four star. Oh, she is a four star. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. We'll see when we get to the five stars. Okay, she looks pretty good. She looks, she looks pretty good. Nothing crazy. Five star. Okay. Nice animation. Jumps in. Cute. Really lively. That's actually adorable. Now, I'm going to keep it 100%. I'm going to move my camera out of the way. I, I don't know if that's a dude or a girl. I'm going to keep it 100%. I'm leaning more towards girl. I have no idea. Gaming. Oh, my God. It's not gaming, bro. It's... Wait, that's a dude? Wait, is that a dude or is that a girl? I have no idea. He's a boy? Okay. All right, so those are pecs. Okay, I thought those were just really, really, really small boobs. Okay, I guess we're gaming again. Okay, wow, we're in the first patch and Wuthering Waves already stole Genshin Impact's newest character. Good plan. I actually like this person's designs more than I like gaming. I hate gaming's design. I feel like it's so terrible. Uh, I think this is a cute-ass character. I think this is dope. Okay, that's good. This gives me hope that if they can make a cute-ass character like this, that they can probably make more cute characters in the future. I also like the, uh, whatever the f those are, the barriers. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, looks good. Damn, she's hot! That's a four-star, too? God damn! See, that shit good. We're, we're moving, we're moving in the right direction, right? We're moving in the right direction. This looks good. Nothing crazy, but still looks good. Yep. Adorable. Okay. Who next? That's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. There was a lot of personality in that shit. I think that they'll probably... I mean, they're obviously very cute. Their play style is probably going to be a lot of fun. I'm assuming they have, like, puppets or something. I think the color palette is okay. I think the sheep thing is very unique. Uh, and I like the eyebrows a lot, too. It remi reminds me a lot of Mariah Nikki. I think this is good as well. I think this is very good. Uh, and a cute character, good. I, I would like to see more than just cute now, though. So it's clear they can make cute. Okay. They're attempting an adult male character. Pretty good. Looks okay. I'll, I'll be real. Little bit NPC-ish. Not really crazy about this design, to be honest. <laughs> Bro, that's so badass. Okay, that is badass, bro. Okay. I'm going to keep it 100%. Stealing Sephiroth's design. One million percent. The slick back and then steals the JoJo stand. But the Wuthering Waves mark on the forehead goes so 
hard. I don't give a shit what you say. That was objectively badass. Now, the only reason why I'm worried, okay, is this. He's a standard character, which means he's probably not going to be too good. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. But if that's a character that comes off the standard banner, Jesus Christ. That is one of the coolest gotcha game characters I've ever seen. This dude is hard as thick, strong arms, huge pectorals, huge abs, looks sick. Actually, actually the best designed character I've seen in this game. This gives me hope. This gives me hope. His name is Kakarot. Oh, bro, that's so cool. Steals Sephiroth, JoJo's, and Goku. That's insane. Give me a Baldi. Give me a Baldi. Okay, pop it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's so hot. Oh my god, and they put the tattoo on the upper thigh, bro. God damn, that is so hot, bro. Okay, so this this will be this will be this game's Kafka. Okay, this this is let's just be real. This is supposed to be Kafka. This character is hot as Is she standard or is she limited? Yeah, she's like Kafka mixed with Himiko. Boobs too small? No, I think the tits are a good size to be on. Limited? Okay, I'll be pulling on her one million percent. Hot as f Is this well? Yeah, that's well. Uh, this guy, he looks like a bootleg version of Beast from X-Men. Uh, I, I give him like a 3 out of 10. I think he looks dog shit. Okay. This is, I think there's like the main character, like the Amber of this game. Uh, she looks okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yusuke, Yusuke Yudameshi. Okay. The fact that this guy is a 4 star actually pisses me off because he's so f cool. I think this game is better at making dudes than making girls so far. This guy's Awesome. I really wish he was a five star because he has a finger gun that looks so sick. Uh, but it is what it is. You know, we'll deal with that as we get there. But I think this guy looks awesome. Okay. Five star? Who? Oh yeah, we got uh, Zhao. Yeah. Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna stay by my claim. I think this game is way better at making dudes than it is at women. Looks like a cooler version of Zhao. Like Insane abs, huge pectorals. I love the turtleneck all the way up to the chin. Looks good as shit. Clean design. Color palette I think is amazing. Everything flows and makes sense. I literally think this is a better version of Zhao. It's like Zhao mixed with uh, Don Hung and Bibbida Lunae and he still looks better. I think this is objectively better than Zhao and Don, Don Hung. One million percent. I don't know how he plays. The dragon design on the shirt looks fantastic. It looks really, really, really good. Really good. Another five star. Female. What the f is this? Holy shit! Who's this? Eight trigram, sixty-four palms. Okay, this one actually goes hard as f that animation was wild. Let's watch that again. So this is like a Fu Xuan mixed with Fu Hua. Bro. She looks awesome. I think the design is amazing. There's, there's something a little bit off about the face. Nothing too crazy. I think this is probably their best design female. The black and white color palette from the hair to the clothes looks really good. I like this shit a lot. A lot. That's good shit. That's good shit. Five star, okay. Rose thorns, nice. Ah, uh, dog shit. Looks stupid as Bootleg Nahida. Who's that? God damn. I mean, G Willikers. Let's hope, let's hope she doesn't get the, the Nicole, the Nicole treatment. Uh, I think she's hot as f Yeah, I'm gonna be real. It's a mid design carried by huge honkers and that's good enough for me to be honest it makes me happy just knowing that the tits will be that big in the game so i like that shit a lot okay that's good shit that's real good shit she looks all right that's everybody yeah it looks good all in all i think the game has made a drastic improvement in the delivery of their characters i think wuthering waves is actually shaping up
to be a genuine serious contender. I think there's going to be a lot of people disappointed with Zenless Lone Zero. I'm not sure if it's going to be as big as Hoyoverse might like. I think Wuthering Waves is going to be much bigger than anybody thinks it's going to be, at least for the first week or two. But I do think it is worth your time because I'm looking forward to it, heavily looking forward to it. And I hope more people check it out. And uh, thanks for making that video. That was awesome.